Hey guys, what's up? I'm Margaret and I read manga. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and I am bringing to you Junji Ito's No Longer Human. Just a quick review of this. Um, I finished reading this the other day and whoa, guys, uh, I was not ready for any of this. I went into this blind because I had um, not read No Longer Human by Asumu Desai. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, so I had no idea what this story was about and um, was not prepared for some of the scenes in this sh uh, show. It's not a show. It's a manga. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, there's some very explicit content in here. Some sex scenes that I was not aware of. And, um, yeah. So, but overall, I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Um, I found myself screaming at the main character. Yelling at him all the time. Because I'm like, what in the world are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Because I'm like, why are you messing up your life like this? So, I'm not going to get any, any spoilers or anything. You're just going to have to read it for yourself. But it was pretty good. Very different than any of his other stories, I feel. Um, probably because it's an adaptation from that guy I mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, but here is the book. Super nice. Yeah, yeah. It comes with this dust cover. It's really nice, so I'll keep it because I like how it's like cut out right here. But um, personally, I don't like dust covers because I feel like they get in the way. But underneath the dust cover, it's really pretty too. It's kind of kind of creepy if you can see that. Kind of creepy, but this is very nice. It's a very nice hardcover. I like it. The art is Junji Ito and you know, it's very, very pretty. Let me see if I can find the page. Should have marked this earlier, but I didn't. Let's see if I can find the page that I really liked. It's really pretty. I don't think I'm going to. Maybe I'll cut and show it later, but anyways. Okay, I found the page that was my favorite. Here it is. Do you see it? Yeah. This is Uzo and his lady riding a bike under some cherry blossoms. It's so cute and so detailed. So yeah, that was my favorite page, pages in this book, probably because they were not depressing. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you need a pick me up, um, you know, if you think you're, you know, you're down on your luck or your life's not going so great, read this book. You'll feel tons better about yourself. <laughs> okay. Let me, um, read the, um, inside cover for you to let you know what this is about. It says, mine has been a life of such shame. I can't even get I can't even guess myself what it must be to live the life of a human being. See that confused me when I picked it up. I thought he was gonna be an alien or something or something weird like that or some creature, but honestly honestly the ending was so confusing that I'm like, maybe it's just me. It's probably just me, but I was so confused as <laughs> to what was going on. So yeah, anyways. Um, it goes on to say, plagued by a maddening anxiety, the terrible disconnect between his own concept of happiness and joy of the rest of the world, uh, Yozu Oba plays the clown in his desolate, desolate life, desolate, I'm sorry guys, holding up a mask for those around him as he spirals ever downward, locked arm in arm with death. Usamu Desai's immortal and supposedly autobiographical, <laughs> wow, autobiographical, autobiographical, <laughs> oh my gosh, autobiographical, there we go, 
work of Japanese literature is perfectly adapted here into a manga by Junji Ito. The imagery wrenches open the text of the novel one line at a time to sublimate, subliminate, subliminate, sorry, Yuzo's mentality, mental, sorry, Uzo's mental landscape into something even more delicate and grotesque. This is the ultimate in art by Ito, proof that nothing can surpass the terror of the physical psyche. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Very different. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got to say about it. Um, it took me a while to read, um, uh, mainly because it was kind of depressing. It was kind of depressing because the guy, I forget what his name is, Yozo in the story, he keeps messing up his life and stuff and it was just hard to get through sometimes, but um, I really enjoyed it. Very good. Highly recommend. I'd give it four out of five stars. Um, so yeah, that's my quickie review for Junji Ito's No Longer Human.